Who's the me? Who are you? Are you a mutant or a CIA agent? Uh, I'm just a regular person, I suppose, and I'm an artist. <laughs> and you come originally from Germany? Yes, originally. I and was born in the South Germany, but I lived most of the time in Berlin. And when you've been trained for opera? Yeah, for a short time. What's your level in opera? Uh, I started as a tenor, as a lyrical or buffo tenor. But that was not enough to me. I needed to get out of those limits. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so, so came the, the fascination for rock and roll? Uh, yeah, I was uh, through a friend. Uh, I, was, I was originally uh, mostly listening to classical music, and uh, a friend of mine turned me on to rock and roll music, and it was mostly English and uh, American rock and roll. And that was the reason why I went to New York. Have you ever performed in proper opera? Uh, no, I did a small, a few small concerts, like early Mozart and, and, and uh, Schumann and Schubert songs, song recital. But I didn't uh, study too long, really. Eventually, we started to hear the rumor from uh, New York. And, uh, but you worked there uh, first as, uh, in a patisserie. Yeah, uh, patisserie is one of my favorite things, like I think a lot of other people like that, too. Uh, no, I made uh, my living in New York for a while, about two years. I had my own business. And so you started this uh, rather excessive image. Why this uh, uh, cl clone, clownish mutant? Uh... Uh, well, I don't know if it's clownish mutant. Uh, uh, first, it started out as a, a private not joke, so it was just the way I dressed up, not as extreme as I'm doing in the show, but it was the period in, in New York when everybody get, got dressed up, uh, you know, and in, uh, in London it was uh, the Sex Pistol and Punk and so forth, and in New York everybody started dressing up and uh, makeup and so forth, and that's when I created my, my own uh, image, you know. I made little drawings most of the time, I made costume designs, and Slowly, I developed those designs into uh, my own, you know, and I realized, God, why, do, why don't I look like that, you know? It's like you design like Mickey Mouse and uh, same thing. And there I was, you know. And it, uh, it startled the, the, the American audience. And eventually, you released the first LP? Uh, not in the United States. I, it was yeah. released first here in, in Europe. You, you did some shows in, in America first? Yes, I uh, did about uh, two years of shows in New York and in the Midwest area, which was very successful. Your image and uh, the experiences you're, you're doing uh, made a, a rather obvious connection with the work of uh, David Bowie, and you also worked with him for a show. I think. Yes, well, there is a connection in, ter in terms of theat uh, theatrics because he's a very theatrical artist uh, as well. And uh, mm -hmm. since I'm from the, uh, more or less from the opera, it is even more obvious that I'm in in, you know, incorporating uh, theatrics. So that is where the combination is. And I was inspired through him because he was one of the uh, first ones uh, to, to uh, be theatrical about his show. Critics and journalists have been very surprised by your first LP, and most of them couldn't put a, a label to it. How would you describe it yourself? Uh, well, I wouldn't give it a, a, a label. It's maybe the only label is my own label. It's a Nomi style. If they saw Could I still take 